What up, YouTube? How to gain weight. Y'all already know that this is a channel for the skinny motherfuckers. This is the blueprint for the skinny guys. If you guys are stuck and you're trying to gain weight, then you stop by the right channel. Obviously, it's some common sense, right? I mean, how do you gain weight? You gotta fucking eat, right? The problem is, as a lot of us eat and we still don't gain weight, we can eat like a motherfucker, still not gain shit. That's exactly how I was. Eat, 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 not gain weight. Well, if you like an ectomorph, you just a skinny ass motherfucker, and you having this problem, then what you need to start doing is counting the calories, start watching your macros, and add that shit up at the very end of the day. Cause you know, sometimes you think that you're eating a lot, but in reality, you haven't really consumed as many calories as you thought you did uh, throughout the entire day. So like, for example, you know, when I was eating a lot, and I, or I thought I was eating a lot, after I started like calculating out the calories and seeing exactly how much I got at the end of the day, I was like, well, you know what? That's probably exactly why I'm not gaining weight because people with a fa faster metabolism, you know, obviously you're burning everything fucking quicker. So your body is gonna be in need of some excess calories. So, for instance, you know, I was at like, I think 2,700 calories or something like that throughout the day and I was eating a lot of stuff, but you know, a lot of stuff that just didn't have too many calories because, you know, I was still under the impression that I had to eat some healthy ass fucking food to gain weight. You know, I didn't want to eat a bunch of fat and shit because I didn't want to get fat. I wanted to build muscle. But the bottom line is, is, if you skinny like that, you can eat some fattening shit along with the healthy shit and just eat your fucking food. Just get in your calories for the day. Just make sure that you're getting the right amount of protein when you're up in the gym and you're lifting your weights and shit. Make sure that you're just at least getting your protein. That's the, that's all I did in the very beginning. I just watched my protein mainly. Made sure I got all the calories that I needed to gain weight. And then everything, you know, everything else fell into place. That's how you got to do it. With that being said, excess calories is the answer. You gotta find where is your calories sitting at where you're maintaining your weight. Then, you gotta add on to that. So, if I was at like 2,700 calories and I was just maintaining weight or even losing a few pounds sometimes when I stayed at that amount of calories, then what are you gonna do? You gotta add on to that. So. I wouldn't suggest anybody go all dramatic and add on a shit ton of calories because then you might just start putting on just excess fat and that's not what you want to do if you're trying to look good. You don't want to be like a skinny guy developing little fucking punches of fat and then you look fucking pathetic. Don't do that. Add on like a good 200 calories and then, oh shit, it's like a fucking car accident right now, man. People driving stupid over here in Alaska. Um, so yeah, add on like 200 calories, and then a week later, hop on the scale, and uh, see where you're at. This is 200 calories a day, folks, not 200 calories a week. So, you know, you're at 2,700 calories, or wherever you're at, and just add on an additional 200 calories a day, okay? Not just a fat bullshit either. Try to fucking make it something that is somewhat healthy but has you know, a good amount of calories in it. So that'll put you up 2,900 calories. Hop on the scale one week later. See where you're at. Did you gain anything? No? You didn't gain shit? Well, add on another 200 calories. Do it for another week. Still didn't gain anything? Well, what do you think? Go ahead and slap on another 200 calories. Keep doing that and you are going to find that somewhere along the line, oh shit, finally at 3,400 calories, 3,500 calories, whatever you're at, I finally put on a fucking pound or half pound, two pounds, whatever. And that's what you're gonna have to start sticking at. You know, you gotta make sure that, okay, well, every single time now, this is where I'm gonna uh, keep my fucking calorie range so I start to gain weight. I wouldn't suggest that anybody goes putting on fucking any more than two pounds a week because then it's gonna be harder uh, to burn it all off in the end and once you become a fat fuck. So, don't become a fat fuck. Do it right. Just try to gain like, you know, a good half pound to about a pound a week. Two pounds max. And uh, get up to, you know, the weight that you want to be at. 
and then start maintaining and lift your fucking weights keep your calories in a little bit of an excessive amount uh, not necessarily where you're just putting on a bunch of weight um, but just you know keep feeding your body so you can you know, continue building muscle what it is called is a caloric surplus for those who do not know I'm right here about to pull up to the gym back and bicep day got more videos coming soon third year transformation is right around the corner so be looking out for that skinny guys I feel your pain I was once there man it does take time to become living proof if you want some more advice and some more tips be sure to like comment subscribe drop a comment below hey share the video share it to one of your other skinny friends or something I'm sure they could uh, use the advice because the shit does work if you do it right all right like comment subscribe to become live improved this shit i'm making gains bruh